everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I am here to give you my review of Hulu's, Marvel's Hulu's Hit Monkey. I know. This, and I know I said this about Modoc, and I was incorrect. This is officially, officially, the last vestige of the Jeff Loeb Marvel TV. This is it. There ain't nothing else coming. That is it. It will all be run under Marvel Studios from here on out, no matter what it is. This was it. This was the last one. Modoc was the one before this, but this is the last one. A couple years ago, about, oh, well, not a couple years ago now. It was like four years ago, like three years ago, something like that. Maybe three years ago. Let's say three years. Let's just say three years. Three years ago, Kevin Feige, um, Jeff Loeb left Marvel Studios as the head of Marvel TV, the TV Entertainment, and Marvel TV Entertainment was pretty much shut down and put underneath Marvel Studios, so Kevin Feige took over that as well. And, but before that happened, there was supposed to be four animated shows that were supposed to take place in the same universe and come, on, and, and, um, come together to form the oh, Offenders. That, that was supposed to be the superhero team name, the Offenders. It was supposed to be Ty um, Dazzler and Tigress, for some reason. Um, it, Howard the Duck, Modoc, and Hitmonkey. Clearly, Howard the Duck and Tigress and Dag Dazzler never happened. Howard the Duck, but, but they, they all didn't happen for different reasons. Mostly, the creative stuff on Dazzler and Tigress was just all over the place, and they just decided not to even do it. Even before Kevin Feige took over, they just said, this is crazy, we're not going to do it. But right when Kevin Feige took over, he pretty much shut down production on most of it. But, Modoc and Hitmonkey had already had casting and were so far along that they simply just let them finish it. They just didn't interrupt them because they were so far along, it would have just been a waste of money to just not let them finish it. Especially Modoc, because that's that chick, uh, robot chick, the robot chicken guys worked on, rob I mean, yeah, the robot chicken guys worked on Modoc. So, you know, that, that whole claymation stop motion style takes time. So, you know, that would have been a fucking pain in the ass to be like, we took all this time to do this and you're going to tell us we're not. But I digress. I ended up, MODOK came out earlier last year and ended up being nice. I liked it. I know some people weren't feeling MODOK, but I enjoyed MODOK. I liked it for what it was. I thought it was very interesting. It was very fun. I had a good time with it, and it just played It played with the Marvel mythology and the Marvel mythos in a very fun and quippy and witty kind of a way. And I enjoyed MODOK. I enjoyed Patton Oswalt voicing MODOK. I had a good time with it. Now, Hitmonkey... Hitmonkey is something that I only discovered in, like, recent years. A couple years ago, um, I, like, not that long after Deadpool came out, I picked up a Deadpool, the Deadpool and Spider-Man comic book that came out a couple years ago. It was, like, Deadpool and Spider-Man. Um, and Hitmonkey shows up in that. The first time I ever saw him. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And around that time, they announced they are going to do a Hitmonkey show. And I was like, what? And I looked into Hitmonkey. And he's just, it's a crazy fucking over the top. It's insane. It's insane. Like, the Hitmonkey origin is just like, it's a monkey in a John Wick style suit with shades and guns and swords and knives and ninja stars. It's like, it's a Hitman monkey? What the fuck? It's crazy. And it's even weirder. But, so I had known about Hitmonkey. When, I, when they announced they were doing this, it wasn't something that caught me off guard. I'd heard of Hitmonkey. I had known of Hitmonkey. But the show comes out, and they got an interesting cast. Olivia Munn's in this show. Jason um, Sudeikis is in this show. And, I mean, they're part big parts of this show. So they got some, they got some voice talent on this show. Um, like, like, it's not just, like, some random, it's some real people we know, voice talent on this show. And the show ended up being, just like Modoc, a really fun and enjoyable, like, dip. Like, honestly, if it didn't take place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the Marvel Universe, it didn't play with the Marvel Universe like Modoc did. It was telling its own kind of isolated story. But I enjoyed the hell out of Hitmonkey. Like, honestly, I had a good time with it. I wouldn't mind a season two. 
I wouldn't mind, like, but you know me, I wouldn't mind a season two of this or MODOK. I wouldn't mind a season two of both of those shows. But this is just on par with that, just in a different way. Uh, and it apparently it takes place in the same world, because there is a legit MODOK, like, Easter egg in the show for MODOK. And I was like, wait, hold up. <laughs> I was like, can't feel like, wait, is that the company that bought MODOK's company and MODOK in this show? Okay, alright, I see what you're doing. But... The show is just, it's a bloody, brutal, fun, action-packed ride. If you're into action, just action, if you're into John Wick, if you're into just, like, those kinds of things, you're gonna, I can't imagine you not having a good time. Especially if you're an anime fan, too, you might have a bit of a time, because there is this kind of anime vibe to it. Not always, but it takes place in Japan, so of course there would be an anime flavor to it. So it does have this kind of a man, a manga anime flavor to it. So there's something there for you, too, there. But the heart of the story circles around this hitman named Bryce. Now, we never found out his last name, voiced by Jason Sudeikis. But I think it's Jason Sudeikis, yeah. Voiced by Sudeikis. And... And, you know, Sudeikis is, is funny. He plays him a lot like, some people have made it similar to Archer. He plays him a lot like Archer. He's this wisecracking, witty assassin with skills. Does a job. Job goes south. He has to run off into the mountains. And he and running off into the mountains, he's bleeding out. He passes out after he just got betrayed by people who said, um, he... Who he was sent, he was sent to Japan to do a job for. He's bleeding out. He gets saved by these like red um, monkeys. I don't. I know they have a name. Those the monkeys with the white fur and the red faces. I can't. I don't know their name. I can't. I don't know the name of those kind of monkeys off the top of my head. But he was saved by these by these monkeys, and they you know they nursed him back to health and whatnot. But unfortunately, his presence there um, brought down the people who were hunting him down. Like. His presence there with these monkeys ended up, unfortunately, breaking all the people who were hunting him. Not only did they end up killing him, Bryce, they killed all the monkeys who were helping him as well. All except for one monkey, the one monkey who didn't like his ass, the monkey who would go on to be called Hit Monkey, who picked up the guns, killed the assassins, and then, and then, along, and then all of a sudden, and he was going to go on this whole murderous rampage. He was going to go find the people who killed his family, kill all, kill all of them, and that's the... It's a revenge story. It's a revenge story at its core. And all of a sudden, the tw here's a twist. Oh, you thought that the monkey who can use guns and kills people, you thought that was the fucking odd thing here? No, no, no. Bryce is riding shotgun with this monkey as a ghost because for some unknown reason that we still by the end of the by the end of the show don't well at least season one don't know he is tethered to hit monkey for some reason his spirit his spirit is tethered to hit monkey so he's basically the most sarcastic so now bryce is with him and it's these two characters together and he's essentially a sarcastic asshole jiminy cricket like like like, like, honestly, that's basically what he is. He's a sarcastic asshole, Jiminy Cricket, because he's, because he's kind of like he kind of serves as sometimes the consciousness of Hit Monkey. Because you, Hit Monkey, he's a monkey. He doesn't talk. So Bryce, a lot of times Bryce like talks back to him or responds to him, so we know what he's saying and we know what he means, and you know we can kind of understand it. And some characters do understand what he's saying, but for the most part, only Bryce understands what he's saying, and only the monkey can see Bryce. So they have these amazing, funny dialogues. You can tell Jason Sudeikis is having a ball. He is having a ball. He's having a ball doing this. He's having way too much fun just throwing out all these references and throwing out all this stuff. It was a fun time watching him just go, like, just, just you know, egg him on and they're back and forth and their weird relationship. And it's just such a strange show. But at its core, it's a revenge story. At its core, once you get rid of all of it, it's a revenge story. And it's an old school revenge story. It's it's a Kill Bill kind of revenge story. Honestly, like I say, if, if you had to compare the actual story to something, it's Kill Bill and John Wick. Like, that's what it is. Like, it, you know, except <laughs> it's a monkey. But yeah, but it's fun seeing it. That, that You get to the heart of the characters. And at first, the beginning is more fun. And the tail end is more serious. It's really getting into the heart of the characters, getting into the minds of the characters, getting into how, why they think the way they think. Especially Bryce, who comes off like an arrogant asshole, who you're just like, leave me the fuck alone. 
I, I'm entertained by you, but I would hate to be in the monkey's position having to listen to your ass all day. But when you discover more about Bryce and discover more about why he is the way that he is, why he feels the way that he feels, you, you quickly kind of realize, like, yeah, I guess, you know, I see. I get it. <laughs> you know? I get why, how you got the way you got. I, I kind of understand it, and I kind of feel sad for you because, you know, because there's moments that you see more humanity out of him that he's trying to bury. There, there's a lot of characters, but really those two are the, are the main ones. Um, some fun action beats, some great animation, good score. I ended up enjoying this. I ended up binging the whole damn thing. And by, I just finished it. And I'm just like, man, they set up a nice little thing for season two, which... I, I, I can't wait to see that. I, I'll probably never do it because I don't think Kevin Feige wants to keep this show around. Literally, when I was watching the credits and I saw producer Jeff Loeb, I was like, oh yeah, Kevin Feige keeping this shit around. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's it. That's the end of this. That, 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 yeah, hey, this, ain't going, this ain't going forward. Oh man, I hope it does though. I ended up enjoying Hitmonkey. Honestly, I'd give it a solid 8. Maybe even an 8.5 if I'm being generous. I had a good time with it. I, I dug the animation. I dug the action. I dug the score. I thought it was... It, it's something It's something you haven't really seen before. And it has a nice little anime vibe to it. Which I love anime. So, what? Well, I don't love anime. But I like a lot of it. Anyways. But I enjoyed the show. Have you seen Hulu's Hitmonkey? It's the last of the lobe of the Loeb era, the last of the old Marvel TV era. So if you're a fan of old Marvel TV and you want to kind of pour one out for it, this would be a good time to do so. Last thing you can watch from that era. Had a great time watching it. it, it, it it's fun. It's fast paced. It, it's quick. It's it's witty and like it's just, it, like I say, if you're into action movies and you're into um like especially like something like Kill Bill or or John Wick, you're probably going to have a fun time watching this. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please make a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.